Princesses, welcome back to the main stage. When I call your name, please step forward. Aurora. Rapunzel. Congratulations, my dears. You are both safe. You may leave the stage. Jasmine, your diva look proved to us that you're more than just a peacock princess. You're safe. Later. Elsa, you may have thought your diva look would have a blushing pink, but unfortunately, it left us frozen in boredom. I'm sorry, my dear. You are up for elimination. Cinderella, your diva look definitely showed us that any princess can, in fact, be a diva. Same goes with you, Mulan. Great work, ladies. But one of you got more votes, and that would be Mulan. Congratulations, my dear. You are the winner of this week's challenge. Oh my gosh, another win! Thank you so much, Barbie! No, thank me. Thank our lovely audience. Now, you may leave the stage. Cinderella, you're safe. Unfortunately, Ariel, that means you, too, are in the bottom. I can't believe I'm in the bottom. Oh, this is my first time ever being in the bottom. This is really frightening. Maybe Barbie's right. Maybe there is something the matter with me. I just don't see how a beautiful, simple pink dress could be bad. Two lovely ladies stand before me, but one of you will have to leave today. One had actually 11 negative votes, so my decision is made pretty clear for me. The unlucky princess going home today is actually not a princess, but a queen. Elsa. Ariel, Shantae, you stay. Uh, gladly. Elsa, much like your sister, you will always be frozen into our hearts. You have shown us that love truly is an open door. And though you may have gotten some hate in the competition, you just let it go because the cold never bothered you anyway. Okay, girl, we get it. How many references can you do in one sentence? No. Sashay away. <laughs> Bye. Ah! Oh girl, I'm going to rip those ugly extensions right out of your ugly little skull. Oh my god, Elsa, it's not that deep. Who's mediocre now, Elsa? Who's mediocre now? You're in the bottom almost every week, and now you finally get sent home. I'm sure everyone can agree that you deserve to go home a long time ago. Have a nice trip. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. You're not saying so much when you've gotten beat up, huh, Rapunzel? My god, just go home already, you freaking psycho. Jasmine, can you take it from here? Sure. Come on, Elsa, I'll call my magic carpet. You'll be alright. Girl, the ultimate shade of it all. You just sit there and watched. You know I love some drama, Rapunzel. How you holding that, Miss Singh? That Elsa, let me tell you. I don't know what has gotten into her over the past years. It must be this fame getting to her head or something. But she can just forget about coming to my next family reunion. Well, that's in the past. I think we should look forward to the future and the competition at hand. Ariel, dear, I know you're not from the human world, but... You should really know when to mind your own business, because this doesn't involve you, girl. I apologize, but that was just my two cents that no one asked for. I'm sorry, Jasmine, do we have a problem? Yeah, Ariel, we do. Get out of my face, for starters. I'm all up in it, Jasmine, I'm all up in it. What are you going to do about it, huh? Get out of my face. Do not put your hands on me. Another fight? I cannot believe it. Princess Ariel, of all princesses, Disney's sweetheart is starting a fight with Princess Jasmine. Girl, bring out the popcorn. I need to see this. Go back to the ocean from which you came from, Little Mermaid. Jealousy is a disease, sweetie. Get well soon. <laughs> jealous. What do I have to be jealous about you, Miss Sang? I'm probably the most popular Disney princess of all time, and no one has talked about you in, what, two decades? Sis, I have a live-action remake. Don't even go there. Girl, mine is in the making, so what about it? Could it be that your nasty little street rat husband Aladdin isn't doing it for you anymore? Maybe that's why. Ariel, sweetie, I know you are not trying to come for me looking like that, okay? I don't know who decided to put you in a pink dress with that red hair, but girl, they did you dirty. You mean this one-of-a-kind pink dress that Prince Eric got for me? Yeah, that pink dress. And what has Aladdin ever gotten for you? Nothing. You just wear that same old tired genie costume from Party City. You're a tired little princess from the 90s. You should really stop trying to embarrass yourself. At least I'm not an airhead. What did you say, Jasmine? What, do you have ocean water in your ears or something? Let me speak a little louder. At least I'm not an airhead. Ugh! Ugh! Oh my god, Ariel, stop. I was just trying to be civil and friendly with you, Jasmine, but you've got to open your mouth, as always. At least I didn't try to rip someone's hair out. You need anger management, girl. Girl, so do you! Oh, 
He's saved by the bell, finally. She's already the hair Princesses, every royal needs to know proper manners and etiquette at the table, especially if other royals are around. You need to know to act your best, act proper now. Let's see if you have the proper skills it takes for such an event. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, uh, am I interrupting something? Oh no, girl, carry on, we're fine. Anyways, as you heard, we are having a tea party today. Every princess needs to know proper tea party etiquette. She needs to know her manners. She needs to act proper and elegant like any royal should. And I'll be watching. We'll have our camera crew around filming your every move. And if you're to act wild and unlike a true princess should, then that will put you in the bottom. The princess who has the best behavior shall be in the top. But of course, that will be up to our audience. So be on your best behavior, ladies. We'll be watching. Good luck and don't mess it up. The ultimate shade of it all. Barbie knows exactly what she's doing. She knows these girls can act up. So having to put them together at a tea party and have them act all elegant and proper, that's so not going to happen. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Hi, my name is Madeline Hatter. Welcome to the Wonderland Cafe. What can I get you ladies started with the drink? You should try the orange soda. It's amazing. Okay. I'll have the strawberry soda, please. Yeah, me too. Well, it's really going to be like that, is it? I can't believe they would just throw me under the bus like that. Well, oh, it really be like that sometimes, huh? What are you talking about? How are you guys gonna do me like that? I told you to get the orange soda, you get strawberry soda. How are you gonna be fake to me like that? Uh, I can come back if you guys aren't ready. Oh no, we are very much ready. It's made pretty clear what these girls want. Her and her will have the strawberry soda. The rest of us will just have regular tea, okay? Okay, um, all right. Cinderella, it's really not that deep. Well, it's just the point, Mulan. Cinderella, you're really making a mountain out of an anthill, sitting there acting like Boo Boo the Fool in public. Okay, can we just forget this and continue to have a good time? This is a part of the challenge, after all. We're supposed to be nice to each other. Yeah, just go ahead and sit there, Ariel, and act like the perfect angel that you are. Jasmine, please, let's just have a good time and try to be on our best behavior. Here are your drinks. I didn't even want tea, but I guess I'll take it. You're welcome to try out our snacks at our snack bar if you'd like, if you get hungry. Have a good evening, ladies. My, what a fun challenge. After all the hard work we've been through the past few weeks, I think it's nice to just have tea and relax with you lovely ladies. Don't you agree? Okay, work. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to the snack bar. Good, we don't want you here anyway. Jasmine, what is your problem? My problem, Ariel, you tried to pull my hair. I was trying to be nice from the get-go, and then you had to have an attitude. So, um, yeah, I kind of, you know, had an attitude back, I guess. That's the thing with you, Ariel. You always act so sweet and so innocent when really you are just as mean as the rest of us. You are no different. Whatever, Jasmine, keep on telling yourself that. I'm gonna get some cupcakes. And you clearly don't like confrontation either. Jasmine, you need to stop, okay? Stop with what? You should really just should have sat there and ate your food. You need to learn to mind your own business and keep your mouth shut sometimes. Yeah, girl, don't be an Elsa. Whoa, so you're siding with her now? No one's siding with anyone. We're just saying we don't want to start a fight right now, especially during the challenge. Did anyone try the tea? I thought the tea was lovely. Changing the subject. What do you guys think of the elimination so far? I'm just so glad Elsa is gone. She should have been gone weeks ago, but... Better late than never, I guess. Do you think Barbie's gonna pull a twist and try to bring some of the other girls back? Girl, I hope not. Especially Elsa. She don't already don't have hers. Is. Mulan, do you have any disagreements with the eliminations? Girl, I don't really care as long as I'm still here. Here, here. Regardless if we're still in the competition or not, we're gonna see each other after everything is said and done anyway, so I guess it shouldn't matter that much anyways. Mmm. Oh, these treats are... What's that word again? Delicious. That's it. Sis, it's a good thing you're pretty. Why do you say that? Well, I mean, 
Thank God she's pretty, I mean, that's the only thing she's got going for her. Girl is as dumb as a doorknob and has no backbone. Interesting you say that because I don't necessarily think you have any class, but that's neither here nor there. Oop, just like school on a Saturday, girl. Ariel, where do you come up with your insults, the internet? Can you come up with something else? Can you come up with something else? I'm sick and tired of looking at your face. I just want you to go home already. You are a phony, Ariel, and the second that everyone else realizes that, the better. Why are you mad, though? <gasps> okay, Jasmine, honestly, was that really necessary? Yeah, go ahead and play the victim, like you always do. I know what you're all thinking. Jasmine is the bad guy. Kick her off the show. She started it. She instigated the situation. She had the bad behavior at the tea party. Eliminate her. Which is such a lie. She started it, first of all. She is a manipulative liar. And if you're siding with her, you're part of the problem. Cry on home now, Little Mermaid. Jasmine, you are so disgusting. I can't believe you. Girl, I'm just sitting there watching this all unfold. This is so entertaining. <sighs> well, so much for a prim and proper tea party. <sighs> well, that got ugly, didn't it? Well, I kind of knew that would happen, but boy, do I love the drama. Almost everyone was on their bad behavior, so tell us, folks. Who do you think did the worst and deserves to be in the bottom this week? Now, who do you think was on their best behavior and who deserves to be in the top? Since most of them were on their worst behavior, I guess in this case you can just vote for your favorites or least favorites at this point. Who really knows? I don't care. Be sure to comment both best and worst, and we'll see you next time.